Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today I'm gonna to share with you eight must-try food items on your next visit to Disney California Adventure. So let's get going. And our first item for this list of foods at DCA that you can't miss, we're coming to the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num stand. First thing in the morning, this is gonna be our breakfast. I don't know if I'd recommend it as breakfast, uh, but it's right next to Incredicoaster, and this is just a to die for chocolate chip cookie. You can get it later on in the day if you'd like. Be aware, however, that it is eight dollars. Now they do have an Incredit cookie, which is gluten friendly. Amy actually prefers that over the Cookie Num Num, but I love the Cookie Num Num and thinks that it's uh, it's a higher tier. They also have a shortbread cookie here too. And here is a look at it. I mean, it fits in my hand. The whole thing is huge. It's pretty thick and it's melted chocolate. It's nice and gooey. This is just an awesome snack. Why did they give you a spork? <laughs> Good question. A spork to eat this thing, but. It's very soft and buttery. Though it doesn't seem very warm today. Maybe that's because it's not warm. You could probably that. ask them to like warm it up, but. It is still good though, because it's buttery goodness. All right, kids are gonna dive in. They are never gonna turn away chocolate chip cookie. You can just pick it up. There we go. As Amy said, it definitely could have been warmer, but the chocolate chips were still melted and gooey, and it was very delicious. But highly, highly recommend the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num at some point throughout your day. Our next Disneyland snack that you absolutely have to get when visiting Disney California Adventure is a churro. Every single churro cart in Disneyland and Disney California Adventure has a specialty churro that they only sell at that particular cart. At least I know that is the case at Disney California Adventure. I think that's the case at Disneyland. But this one has a Halloween candy apple churro. We're just gonna get the standard churro because, well, standard is fine in my opinion. Some of my favorite uh, flavored ones though are cookies and cream and the mint ones that they have. Also peppermint at Christmas time is fantastic as well. And here's the price on that churro. The specialty churro is $7.25 and that's what this one looks like. <laughs> so these things are big enough that we can literally just break them in half. And uh, well, we give one half to one child and one half to the other. Benjamin would eat the whole thing <laughs> if you let him. <laughs> I don't know that I'm actually gonna get any of this. Uh, it's mainly for the kids. They love churros. Um, this really could be on both lists, Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. But we have so many snacks over at Disneyland for that video that um, we decided to put the churro on the DCA video. They also have churros in Disney World, but they're more iconic here. It's just a thing to get here. And I've been told that the ones here in Disneyland are far better than the ones in Disney World. We have not tested that theory out yet though. Okay, so here we have two different bread bowls, sourdough bread bowls from Aunt Cass Cafe. And it really doesn't matter what bread bowl you get. We're just saying that these soup in a bread bowl are something that you absolutely cannot pass up. It's the Boudin uh, sourdough that came from the mother loaf in San Francisco or something like that. Uh, and so this is a like a 200 year old a bit of sourdough as far as the, the mother loaf goes. And they just, they keep reusing a little bit of the same thing. It's how they make uh, sourdough bread. They have more information about that in the bread tour. Uh, but the, the sourdough bread here is amazing. This one is clam chowder on the left. The one on the right is mac and cheese. They also have a curry beef inside a bread bowl. Uh, and you can get bread bowls in different places around the, the Disneyland Resort, both at Disneyland and here at Disney California Adventure. But again, this is the clam chowder and we got mac and cheese as well. The kids are gonna split this. That's way more than enough for them. And then Amy is going to have all the soup in here and we will share some of the bread together. And then she just brought my food. And this is the quesabaria from Cocina Cucamonga. And the quesabaria is probably one of the best items that you could get in Disney California Adventure. This is a like a meal that you cannot pass up. If you love Mexican especially, this uh, beef broth dipping sauce is fantastic. The quesabaria tacos, they're just, they're, they're phenomenal. I've had them before. I cannot wait to eat them again. How's your soup? Good. I don't actually remember the last time I had the clam chowder. We used to get the broccoli cheddar 
and we saw in a couple of the other things before, but they rotate what soups they have. They've had a lobster mac and cheese over at Disneyland before, yeah, which that's I really loved. good. And they haven't had that in a while, but this is really good. My quesadilla was super delicious. Uh, a little bit more on the crunchier, chewier side than I remember it. Like it was very densely packed and kind of a bit on the, I mean, I, a bit on the soggy side is what I want to say. I know soggy and crunchy don't really go together, but like it still was crunchy, but I don't know. It just had a different texture than I feel like most tacos do, but still the flavor was all there. Amazing. You dip the, the queso burrito taco in the beef broth and it was phenomenal. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you would like to give a donation, consider becoming a member of the channel. Just click the link down in the description. For our next treat, an afternoon stack, if you will, we're coming to adorable snowman frosted treats. Now this is in Pixar Pier, just outside of Incredicoaster. You could hear it blasting off behind me. And uh, we're gonna get some ice cream here. They have a really great uh, specialty ice cream that everybody loves. All right, here you can get lemon, mango, or some specialty items. We're gonna get the Pixar Pier Frosty Parfait, which is that item with the cherry on top that you see in the picture. All right, well, here we go. We have the Pixar Pier Frosty Parfait. It, uh, it's kind of going sideways here. Uh, they got a cherry on top, and then it's got some blue raspberry icy down there. So this is a uh, lemon ice cream on top, blue raspberry icy down in the cup, and it's mixed. And uh, this is really, really good. This is a specialty item that you can get at Adorable Snowman Frosted Treats. Highly recommend. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Mm. Very, very lemony. I love lemon, so this is like perfect for me. Uh, it's not too lemon, it's not too tart, you know what I mean? Like lemon can be tart, it's not tart. It's it's a really good balance of flavoring. I don't like the cherry though, so Amy can have the cherry. Ooh, cold. It is not that cold. It is cold. The slush is cold. Oh, I haven't gotten down into the slush. Well, I dug up some of the little slush. I see. Because I like the slush. I wonder if they would make this with a mango. Like you can probably ask for it. Like. What do you think? I like it. It's very different because it doesn't taste like ice cream, but it doesn't taste like Dole Whip. It's kind of hard to describe. I had a couple of bites with the lemon ice cream and the blue raspberry like mixed together. Oh, is that especially good. I like the mix. I like the flavoring of the two. The texture of the Slurpee with the, the ice cream. Also a very unique texture flavoring. For our next food item that's not a snack, more of a meal, we're coming to Corn Dog Castle, which is located across from the Golden Zephyr in the Paradise Gardens Park area of Disneyland. And uh, it's just a corn dog, yes, but we're getting a spicy link corn dog, and that's special, and I wanna show you why. And here it is, my spicy hot link corn dog. Look how big this thing is. I can't even pick it up by the stick. If I pick it up by the stick, it's like top heavy and the stick is gonna snap. This thing is super thick uh, and the hot dog inside is a spicy hot link hot dog. So uh, it's a normal corn dog, like breading on the outside, but a spicy hot link on the inside. It tastes so much better than a standard corn dog. And I think this is like one of the only places you can get this nice, awesome, spicy hot link corn dog. Uh, over at Disneyland, you definitely cannot get it. They do have corn dogs over there at the Little Red Wagon, but they're regular corn dogs. So if you want the spicy hot link, it's gotta be here at Corn Dog Castle. So I really thought you could get it at Stage Store Cafe in Disneyland, but we just looked it up and sure enough, I, this is the only place you can get a spicy link corn dog. So therefore you have to come to DCA. That thing has a, quite a bit of a kick to it whenever the breading is gone. I was down to the last little bite and the breading had fallen off and ooh, I needed some water. It's definitely a spicy food yeah, item. It definitely is. And our last location for the video has a variety of food items that I feel are so good that you should not miss them. They're located here at Pim Test Kitchen. Well, here we have the Impossible Spoonful. This is a giant impossible meatball and uh, it's spaghetti and pasta, of course, but it tastes fantastic. This is a good uh, vegan plant-based option for you for this video. Over here, this one is not vegan. <laughs> this one is chicken. It's the not so little chicken sandwich. Uh, it's got this teeny tiny little bun, but the chicken patty is, is pretty good size. The sauce on top is excellent flavoring. I love this. Uh, when we asked a cast member what the best item at uh, 
Tim's was, they say that this is the item that gets ordered the most often, the nuts, a little chicken sandwich. And then we also have a sweet treat for dessert. I've already cut into it a little bit here. Here's the, the bit at the end. Um, this is a massive candy bar. Now this is like eight something dollars, um, but it is a massive candy bar. Take a look at this. When we pull it away, we have a layer of peanut butter, a layer of nougat, a layer of caramel. Like It's like a Snickers layer. And then at the very bottom is a brownie. This is just, this is heavenly goodness. You can easily split this thing between five people. Um, we have done it multiple times. So this thing is huge. So the kids are going to be splitting the pasta. It actually looks kind of small there, but I mean, we do have this ginormous candy bar here <laughs> to, to fill the rest of us up. And then I've already mostly eaten with the uh, hot link that we had earlier. So this is mostly Amy's sandwich, but I'll have a, a couple bites of it because that was about an hour and a half ago now at this point. Um, but it's uh, five o'clock, so it's dinner time, right boys? Five o'clock dinner time? All right, so how was your not so little chicken sandwich? I feel like there wasn't as much spicy sauce on it this time, um, but it's still a good, a good favor for him. Definitely, definitely a hit. I feel like bite into this thing. Very good. Best snack we had all day? Hard to say, because we've had some good ones today. Well, this is a whole list of the best. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to, to rank them, but where would you put this if you did rank it? probably be at the top for today. Yeah? Yeah. Disneyland's a different story though? Disneyland's probably a different story. Can anything beat the Dole Whip? That's a preview for that video. But can anything beat the Dole Whip? I'll have to think about that. <laughs> well, we'll uh, you'll have to tune in for the next video. How was your pasta, buddy? Good. Do you approve? Good. Well, that's it for our time here today at Disney California Adventure, showing you all of the must-try foods that you can get here at DCA. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.